Hi everyone. The most common thing, the most common thing that I notice in the people that I train, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter the age, it doesn't matter if it's um, young people, kids, or or adults. It's the, it's a fear of. It's it's not really the fear of losing. For those of you that don't know, I'm a tennis coach. Um, I'm a former professional athlete, and uh, I teach people of all ages and levels of the game, beginners, intermediate, and advanced. And what one thing that I notice is people are not afraid, and I I can relate to that. That's when I started. It's like we are not really afraid of losing. Uh, it's it's we're not afraid of failing. It's the, of course, it's the pain that it creates, and it's when it it's when it happens consistently, or even when it happens once, of being able to get out of that kind of mentality and that self image. I can tell it, and 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 that's that's one thing that is more more I think relatable to young people is that they believe that if they do if they don't do something well, it's gonna be a, they're gonna have a really hard time getting out of that. Of of the, it's like they're gonna put it themselves inside this box that says loser, and they're not gonna get out of that. Like their their mindset is not gonna change, and 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 I have. It's difficult to teach people. You just say okay. Don't be afraid. It's okay. You're going to fail. It's going to hurt, but you're going to be fine. The truth is that there is not an easy way to explain or or to try to um, push someone to transcend their fears and face the consequences of having a goal and trying to do something and, 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 and the consequences of the inevitability inevitability that you're going to fail because whether we like it or not that's how we become good at something and that that is the only path there is no other way around so one way uh one one of the things that i try to talk to the people that i teach is that i say okay the, the first thing is we got to go to a fact you you can you can live in your own reality and thinking that you can go around it, around it and avoid it and then become someone uh, some good at whatever you do and the second one is like you just got to say, okay, you know what? Just face the fact. The fact is that there is no way around it. It's going to be difficult. Um, you're going to go through, you know, you know you, you're going to have to fail. You're going to have to mess up several times. But the truth is that it, it doesn't really have to be difficult. You, we make it difficult. You have to look. When we, you, when we start losing, that's when it's the most painful thing. It's in the beginning. Once you do it several times, you kind of become... Uh, your sensibility, it, it doesn't hurt you as much. And it doesn't hurt you because you find out, you start finding out like, you know what, it's not the end of the world. It's not like they're going to, it's not like they're going to show, you know, in the headlines, in the newspaper and the magazines that you're a loser and you, and, and you didn't, you didn't accomplish whatever you wanted to do. So there is no way around. And, 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 and in order to make it less difficult, you have to learn to work mentally to make, make it look more like, okay, this is part of my training. This is just a training. The thing that I want to do, this is the pay that I, the, the price that I have to pay. And this is part of my training to get that. So, you have to accept it, that it's a fact. There is no way around, which is the most difficult thing. But once you once you once you get over it, once once you get to accept that, believe me, it's much much easier to deal with. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is that once you accept it, you're gonna notice that it's not that bad, and even it's gonna happen to you several times. And the first time, you're gonna your friends are gonna mock you, make fun of you, or someone else, or or but you're gonna see that you know what? The truth is that most people around you don't care. And if they and, and 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 those that care and or th those that care and make fun of you, they're gonna make fun the first time and the second time. Once you once you fail ten times, they don't wanna care about it. And and believe me, once if you can go through the first and second or the third time, by the ten or eleventh time, whatever they say to you is not gonna get to you. That's when you start developing. That's what I call develop shark skin. This you gotta develop the skin that says, you know what? It's not getting to me anymore. The things that you're telling me. And and the truth is that the best way and probably the only way to develop is it's is just hitting that wall over and over. Develop that shark skin. How? Go and fail. Go and try and fail again. And you're gonna you, you're gonna notice that is you're gonna get to the point where you say, you know what? Okay, let's do it again. Here we go. And then and then if if, if you think, and what if? What if you fail again? Oh, this is my 21st, 25th time that I try. I don't care. 
See, you're going to get to that point where it doesn't, it's not going to get to you. You just, you don't, you don't even have, you don't, don't pay attention to, you just got to pay attention to, okay, what, what, what do I get out of it now? You learn, you pay attention to what can I get from this experience again, learn, let go, and then you move on to the, the next time. Learn, let go, move on, learn, let go, move on. You just, you just absorb, absorb all the information, all the research. It's like you're doing research on that thing that you like. So you just got to keep on doing it. That is, so the first one is you got to, you got to think this is a training and there is no way around. I got to go through that door, go through that door. And once you open the door and you, and it hits you and hits you and hits you, you're going to develop shark skin. You develop your skin. It's just, it's not going to get to you anymore. Don't take it personally. Don't take it. Don't, don't, it's not the end of the world. And believe me, whether you want to believe it right now or not, it's a fact that as you do it over and over and over, even 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 if if it's a little bit, but you're gonna notice that you know what it's not as bad as I thought. Now, how how fast and how well you're gonna transcend through developing shark skin, that's up to you. It it, it depends to you. It depends if you go back and repeat to yourself, oh my God, I'm a loser and oh I feel better now, but still I'm such an idiot. You gotta change that self communication with yourself too. So you gotta don't go around it, face it. You're in training. The second one, you got to develop that shark skin. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is you, the truth is that most of the fears, I, I will say, I, I, I wouldn't dare to say that all of them, but most of the fear that everyone in the world has about doing something is society and people. What, what are they going to be told? What are they going to tell you? What are they going to think of you? And you have to learn to ignore that. Dreams. Millions, millions of people throughout history, hundreds of millions of people throughout history, they never got to be what they wanted. They never even tried because of that. I mean, you have to learn to say, you know what? I don't care. Developing shark skin is going to help you. And you just got to keep going and say, fuck it. I don't care. I'm not listening anymore. I don't care about you. And you're going to notice that the people that tell you shit is the people, they're not doing anything. It's just people watching from the bleachers. It's just people that is not in the arena. If they're not there grinding it and trying to fight, you know what? You have nothing good to tell me. And if it's someone that is grinding it and is just attacking you, then you just learn. This is, this is gold, guys. Listen to this. You got to learn, you got to learn to control, to ignore society to the point that you respond with silence. Meaning, hey, oh, you're such a loser, man. You didn't do it again. You turn around and you just keep going. If you, if you think about it, most of the famous people, most of the successful people around the world in any, in anything, sports, business, whatever, they're, they're, they they are attacked every single day by tabloids, the newspapers, and the news, and everywhere. Do you see? Do you see those people? Do you, do you see Michael Jordan? Did you see LeBron? Did you see all the all the good athletes or the famous people every single day defending themselves against what people tell them? No, you rar you rarely hear something about that they say. You know something that they respond. Why? Because they know that. When you be when you're aiming to, I heard something that said when you're aiming to become a tiger, you really you really don't listen to the donkeys yelling at you. When you have your mindset up here, what 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 those with the mentality down here are yelling at you, are completely, you, you they're, they're it's going to deaf ears. Your ears have to be like, I don't care what these guys, they, they have nothing to say to me. They have nothing to afford to give me. So you have to learn to go through it. Just go through the pain. That's a training. When you go through it, you're going to start, you're going to start feeling better, developing your skin, developing your, strengthening your emotional state of mind. And the third one, learn to respond with silence, completely ignore them. And when you do that over and over, believe me, you're going to, if, if you really want to see people that are not going to tell you things anymore, just don't respond to them. They, oh, you're a chicken. You don't even respond because you don't have nothing to defend yourself. You, uh, that gives me, that gives me the reason. That's, that's the most they can say. 
because they have nothing else to go for, nothing, nothing in their lives to go for but attack you. And they hate you. They hate to see you moving forward. They hate to see you change your mindset and developing mentally. So remember those three things, guys. Don't go around it. Going through failure is, a, is a your training. You got to develop the shark skin and learn to respond with silence. Just stay focused where you're going. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. See you next time.